shade. The air stays cool. All right, folks, this is Tiny, and Tiny, um, as you know, is the little turtle that we found in 2007 um, down in the Pioneer Village when she was about half this size. And she had been chewed on by um, some type of predator. As you can see, the chew marks here and on this other side of her carapace. Probably a raccoon uh, or a cat. No one knows. But I took her to the veterinarian and he fixed her up, gave me some antibiotics for her. And now, or and then, I kept her at my house for a year or so. Then she outgrew the enclosure I had her in, so I took her to Team Eco in Hendersonville, and they took care of her. Um, and look how well she has done. She's grown nicely, she's big, she's ready to be released out in the outdoor pen. And I'm going to release her out here in this big pen with all the other turtles, so she can get some exercise and build her muscles. And Unfortunately, she will never be able to be re released into the wild because of her injuries. She can't close her shell very well, and she's vulnerable to attack from predators. So she's going to live here in the out outdoor pen at Urshine. So let's let her go and see what she does. Oh, cool. Check this out. Just as I was releasing Tiny, uh, Karen noticed this big lizard. It's a skink, and she's sitting here basking in the sun. Yes, she is. Oop, and she's gone. All right, so we're going to let Tiny go. And Tiny is not so tiny anymore. I think she just wants to sit in the sun. I don't know. She gonna take a dip? She's just exploring. It's a great thing. Great thing for her to get out and in a much larger enclosure. Now you can see her shell is quite deformed from the injuries that she sustained from whatever type of predator it was. So her shell is never going to be normal. And that's one reason she can't live in the wild because of the deformities of her shell. It, it allows her to be vulnerable to predators. Okay, so here's a look at her enclosure where she will live the rest of her life. She has a small pond that's uh, filtered and this giant enclosure with all kinds of vegetation, slugs, snails, 
and to wonderful food. And of course, we supplement their food and give them vitamins. So we'll leave her alone and keep you posted on her status and how she's doing. See you later, Tiny. Spirit ever lingers in a song.